Today guys, I'm working on building a rolling gate for my cats. Yesterday we power washed the deck and now we like let our cats, cats out on the deck. But as you can see, we have two sets of stairs here. One goes up, one goes down. And we want to make a rolling gate so that it slides and connects to that side of the deck. So here's kind of what the gate is going to look like. We are going to have balusters in between and then we're going to have wheels on the bottom. So it'll slide one way forward and backward. Um, this is kind of a sketch of the drawing my deck. So there's the down, there's the upstairs, and then here's my deck. So the gate will be here and then we'll pull it over and latch it to this side of the wall. Just picked up the lumber. Check this out. Two by tens, two by eights, two by sixes. They're all in here. Look, it fit. Can't freaking believe it. So what I did this morning, I thought I had all my materials, but I didn't. <laughs> of course, I had to make another run to Home Depot. But what I did this morning is I already cut one two by four of the bottom and then one two by four of the side dry fit it, made sure it was the height that I want it to be. Now I need to make two more of those cuts or two more pieces. So another top piece, another side piece. Then I'm going to like glue and screw them together in the corners and then put the balusters on. wood because I'm matching these balusters that are already used on our deck. So I'm trying to make this gate, fence, whatever, look as close as possible to what we have here so that it kind of all blends together. Um, the question is, do I want to miter both edges? So I'm going to take these pieces of wood from the end to the end, but at each end, do I want the end to kind of like slide or be angled into the end of, or to the top and bottom of the wood? Um, I talked with Cole and he doesn't have a preference, so I think what I'm gonna do is keep this end straight, come out and then miter to the bottom. So, I didn't quite do this right, because my piece is like an inch and a quarter too long, so I'm going to do. Oh, I know what I did. It. So, what I did was I put the blade right at my mark, so it made the bottom part longer where my mark needed to be right in the center of my miter saw I think all right so I gotta fix this Okay, so at this point in the day, I've probably been to Home Depot at least three times. Um, just trying to figure out how to screw slash whatever, put these corners together, the mitered corners. So this last time I went, I talked with somebody, they don't have the 90 degree clamp that I need, like wide enough for my two by fours. So this is my decision on what I'm going to do. It may be wrong and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll have to figure out a different solution. I'm going to wood glue all the corners, <laughs> wait for it to dry, and then hopefully, wood glue is extremely strong. Hopefully that like kind of acts as my clamp. And then I will put supporting screws in. 
So some of you may be wondering why I didn't just go ahead and try to screw the corners together. And the reason is because I didn't feel like I had enough leverage holding the wood together. So I felt like I needed a clamp or another person helping me hold the two pieces together while I added the screws because I felt like if I didn't have that or something holding the wood together that the two pieces were gonna come apart or they weren't gonna end up a perfect 90 degree angle. Okay, so not surprisingly, my wood glue idea did not work. I think it's because the wood that I got from Home Depot was already kind of damp and therefore, and it's also damp out here, there's a big storm last night, so therefore it's just not the right climate. So I went online to see, I don't like, I'm, I'm ordering a bigger, 90 degree clamp online, but it's not gonna be until tomorrow. So for right now, I'm just gonna try to see if I can do it by myself. So I'm gonna use a five and 64th, um, see that little tiny thing? Bit to drill me a pilot hole and then try to drill my screws in. This had to be the most frustrating part of the process, guys. But once I had this done, the rest was super easy. So what I ended up doing is propping up my frame on some leftover two by four pieces to give me a little bit more space to work with my drill. And then, as I said, I used a bit to drill a pilot hole and then screwed in my wood screws. Then I started screwing in my balusters. I used one screw at the top and one screw at the bottom. I also cut two two inch scrap pieces of wood to use as spacers. Okay, so real quick update. <laughs> Um, so you know how I told you that you need to measure in the middle and then space your rails from there? So yes, do that. But I have an even number of rails, so that means that my first rail does not go directly in the middle. My spacer needs to go directly in the middle. I just put my first rail directly in the middle, and then I had to take it out. Actually, I was three, rail, three um, rungs in, or three, you know, there's a technical term for it, but right now... It's really hot out here. I've been at this for a long time. My brain is failing me. I'm restarting. Okay guys, we are so close to the end. This might be my first project that I've ever finished in one day. <laughs> back on, back on wood. Okay, so this is gonna be more like a sliding wall, kind of how I talked about in the beginning. So in order for that, that to happen, I've got these two inch rigid caster wheels. Now I say rigid because notice that it only rolls like up and down. You can get wheels at your hardware store that swivel, you do not want those if you want your fence to go, you know, just like so. So um, I have four of them, but a guy that I watched online that has a very long fence like mine said that he put two on each end and one in the middle and found that the one in the middle just like threw the whole thing off, so he took it off. So I'm gonna do one on each side first 
see how it rolls, see how that feels. Um, and then maybe add, I've gotten four of them, maybe add two more, I'm not sure yet. And these are the screws that I'm using to screw them in with. This smaller clamp that I ended up buying earlier in the day, guys, actually did come in handy for these braces. I put wood glue between the two braces and then I used the clamp to clamp them together and then I used my brad nailer to give it a little bit of a stronger hold. Unfortunately, I lost footage of this happening, but I screwed these braces into my deck using the same wood screws I'd been using all day. thank you so much for watching this video and if you've made it this far to hear this outro just i can't thank you enough again so thank you scout Aww. Aww. um i am so proud of myself for finishing this in one day it's my first one day i don't want to say makeover but build i guess actually i still need a handle so it's not like completely done but i originally bought an, a um, 90 degree bracket uh like hook to put right here and then decided this was so heavy there was no way that my cats were going to be able to push it open so i'm just going to leave it the way it is put a handle on it and call it a day there are some things i would love to fix about it like the the holders that i've screwed into uh the railing to like support it um they aren't the prettiest i would like to make those more aesthetic at some point but please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe and say yeah Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.